hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have this Panasonic tough book this one does work as you can see we have LEDs and it is working but if we go to so the windows is not uh, working and we need to install a new windows using a USB stick okay so if we open this so we have here a USB ports yeah but if I want to use a USB stick yeah I cannot so I need to change it from the BIOS okay so let me go to BIOS F2 okay entering the BIOS as you can see we have a password it says enter password the problem is I don't have the password I don't know the password whatever I try to type it says invalid password so today let's try together and crack that password okay so first we need to take the battery out battery is out okay we need to take these screws Okay, so the back cover is out and as you can see we are in we have here the hard drive hard disk I mean here we have the optical drive the RAM memories we have the Wi-Fi card and we have the RTC battery over here and its cable is in here okay let me take the hard drive Okay, the hard drive is out now the BIOS IC is this the BIOS IC is over here as you can see this is the BIOS IC so we need to take the BIOS IC out and extract the pin file and then find the, pa the password and reset it okay so first let's take the BIOS out the BIOS IC okay so we have plastic over here this is plastic and we have the connector the connector of this uh, RTC battery and also we have this flat cable and its connector over there so I need to cover this connector of this RTC battery let me put a piece of aluminum over there over that connector okay and I can use something here to protect it like a PCB or a piece of aluminum so let's put this PCB First, I need to cover the holes of the PCB. Okay, let's put it in between the motherboard and this plastic. Okay, it's there. ok 
Okay, so we are ready to take it out. Okay, the BIOS is out, the BIOS IC is out. Now I need to put this on my BIOS programmer to extract the bin file. Okay, let's open the programmer software. Okay, so the, this is the programmer software. Okay, so let's let me just remove this. Okay, so this is the software. Now I I'll press Smart Identify, and as you can see, it is identified. Now I go to Read. I am using the RT809F serial ISP programmer to program the BIOS to extract the bin file and to reflash a new file. Okay, so I'll go to Panasonic, Toughbook, and I write this. I have an old backup in this file. Okay, let me write backup. Backup to save. Now we have the file. Okay. Now we have this file backup to, as you can see. Now, what should I do? I will open the hex workshop to edit the BIOS bin file, okay? Now I will drag this file to the hex workshop. Now what should I do is I will go to find and I will go to type and change it to text string and write A M I S T T S I mean T S A M I T S okay as you can see it is in here it says A M I T S E setup and as you can see all these stuff are zeros so this means there is nothing written on this space here from here to there so this all are zero now we should try and find if there is another AMI TS. So I'll go to find next. Now we have another one AMI TS setup. And again, we have nothing before this NVAR3. We have everything is just zeros. So we are fine here. Now I'll go and try to find another one. Okay, so we have something here. As you can see, we have AMI TSE setup and we have this NVAR. So we have something in between of these. So we need to delete everything from here to the setup or not delete, I mean to fill it with zeros instead of these values. So I will fill it with zeros. As you can see, it's zero. So I press OK. Now, as you can see, 
we have everything zero from the NVAR to the AMI TS setup. Okay, so if I try to find if there is still we have AMI TS in another place and if there is something we need also to fill it with zeros. If there is nothing, it's, if it is already zeros, then, then we will leave it like that. Okay, let's go to next. Okay, okay, here we have another one, AMI TS, but we don't have nothing. Okay, so if I go back, now this is, I think, the first one. If I go again, next, we have nothing. Next, yeah, so this one, what we have edited. Okay, so I will open save, I'll say file, save as. And I will say backup to unlocked. Okay, so save. I'll close this for now. Now we have this backup to and we have backup to unlocked. Everything the same. The kilobytes are the same. 16.384, 16.384. So nothing has changed. Just we replaced the values with zeros. Okay, so now I will go to open to the software of the programmer, open, and I will go to this one, backup to unlocked, press open, and then write. It will, it, it will take some time to erase the original files from the chip, then write the new bin file. So let's wait for it. Okay, it says, okay, so the programming has been completed. Let's go back to the computer. So here is the chip. Let's solder it back. Okay, so that connector is intact. The connector of this RTC battery, like nothing happened there. Okay, so we are ready to test. Let's put the battery back. And the main battery, do we need the hard drive? Let's put it. We don't need it, but let's put it. Okay, so let's try it now. It's on. If we go to F2, enter setup. It says bad system CMOS, system CMOS, check some error, press F2 to enter setup, okay, F2, and we are in, as you can see, we are in the PIOS, yeah, so we successfully cracked that PIOS, so we no longer have the PIOS password. I mean crack the password of the BIOS okay so I think it's ready now we can install the operating system now we can go to boot menu which is this one and change the boot order and then we can install the operating system I hope you can find this infor uh, informative this video is informative and very helpful for you so if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in another video.